Pavlos and Marel, thank you very much for this kind invitation and giving me opportunity to show you the last results we make in uh, the collaboration also with, uh, with the Skoltech. Um, so, uh, it doesn't work, or oh, it works. It doesn't work. Ah. Um, so, uh, today, uh, as um, Pavlos already uh, mentioned in the introduction, they, I, I would like to discuss the optical gain and lasing from inseparable states. And I will start the, the presentation about the concept of liquid crystal optical microcavities. Then I will uh, show uh, the Rasba Dresser House uh, spin orbit coupling uh, for, uh, for photons. Um, I will uh, discuss the persistent spin helix and inseparable states. And uh, so at uh, the end, I will show the, the lasing. This uh, work was done in the collaboration uh, with uh, many groups. We, uh, we had a group uh, at the Faculty of Physics University of Warsaw, um, but the samples are prepared at the uh, Military University of Technology uh, with the group of uh, Viktor Piecek and Premek Kula. We have a very fruitful collaboration with uh, Skoltek and University of Southampton with uh, Pavlos uh, Lagudakis and Helgi Sigurdsson. And uh, with uh, Polish Institute, uh, Polish Academy of Sciences, uh, Institute of Physics, uh, from uh, the group of Michał Matuszewski. Um, we also received some uh, funding uh, from uh, European Union and from National Science Center. Uh, before I start to let, uh, and before I forgo, <laughs> forget at the end of this talk, I would like to. Uh, show the credits for my uh, my group, which we lead with uh, Barbara Pientka, there are a couple of people. And uh, as uh, Pablo said, we established it about a decade ago. And uh, since then we managed to enter to this uh, research of uh, uh, polariton physics and uh, strong coupling and the weak coupling uh, with some, um, some papers and which some of them I uh, present today. Okay, so uh, let me uh, start with uh, the optical uh, cavity. Actually, we are dealing with the uh, basically fabric resonator. Yes, so uh, the, the, this is the optical cavity uh, made for of two parallel uh, surfaces, uh, and the fabric uh, and the perot they, they they explain the color of uh, soap bubbles, for instance as the multiple reflection of the, of the system inside the, this tiny cavity of the, uh, with the length of this cavity was of the order of the optical path and the optical path was defined by the thickness and also by the refractive index. And uh, in um, our research, we decide to tune the optical modes, not by changing the thickness as it was uh, typically uh, done in, uh, in this field of uh, microcavities, but by tuning the refractive index. And in order to do that, together with the Military University of Technology, we developed this, uh, uh, this, this idea of uh, birefringent liquid crystal microcavity. So there is a, the, 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 the active medium uh, in, in, inside, this is the liquid crystal, nematic liquid crystal, uniaxial, and uh, this is uh, this is, uh, the, the, it is close between two distributed black reflectors, uh, and there are two ITO transparent electrodes uh, to apply electric field. Uh, there is also another uh, a special so-called rubbing layer, the special polymer, and this polymer uh, aligns the, uh, the, the making the order of the of the molecules. So, uh, so when we apply the electric field. The molecules rotate, and the, the optical mode, the, the optical path for the for the for the, for the light inside the cavity uh, changes. So we can tune the the, the, the the mode. The the first cavity was quite bulky because we were afraid that the that the uh, um, capillary tension just bent the glass. But now the the, the cavity is maybe more compact. This is the the movie how we tune the the, the cavity. Uh, using this uh, nematic liquid crystal. Uh, and we uh, uh, use uh, uh, the, 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 the 
possibility for the liquid crystal that they they uh, change the um, refractive index uh, in um, uh, at least in one direction or maybe in the, only in one direction. Um, so there are two optical modes, uh, and one optical mode is not is not affected by the change of refractive index. This is uh, we call it vertical mode, and the horizontal mode uh, indeed sees this uh, rotation of molecules. Uh, so if we uh, look at the experimental data and even the calculations which are performed in the Berman method, matrix method, uh, we can observe the, that the modes uh, split, but uh, not. But, but this is due to the change of the energy of the horizontal mode. So I will start the movie now, and you see that uh, the, there is one mode which is uh, which rests at the same energy, and the other which approaches the, the the other one. And then the, some modes just crossing some they, they, they interact. Uh, and this is the, the actually the, the, the main subject of our research to understand and the, to, uh, to use this uh, uh, interaction between the modes. Uh, as, as you have seen, the, 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 when the, we, we, we rotate the molecules, uh, to the horizontal, the vertical modes uh, stays uh, at the same energy. So this is the, the, the this is the cross section of the of the multi-mode uh, cavity with uh, k equals zero and the energy position of the of the horizontal and vertical modes. And uh, when we start the rotation of molecules, and uh, if we have the alignment of the molecules that they are, they they, they start with the perpendicular uh, orientation uh, regarding the surface. Then uh, we have the two modes with the same parity, uh, horizontal and vertical. But then uh, we apply electric field, and uh, one of the modes is uh, it decreases its energy, and the second mode uh, at uh, for a, a different parity and the different uh, number of uh, nodes or anti nodes approach. And then uh, at a certain uh, molecular orientation, this is in resonance with the cavity. <clears throat> so we called it the uh, n plus one and regime regime. This is a horizontal vertical basis. And then there is another regime which we can investigate and uh, the, the n plus two, et cetera, et cetera, depending on the thickness of the of the cavity. Uh, in order to describe the lab propagation in the system, <clears throat> we of course uh, can characterize the the, 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 the light by the, the by the, the energy and the the, the, the momentum, the angular, uh, the, the angle of the of the uh, light, which is uh, uh, coming out from the, the, the cavity, but also as you see, the, the the very important part is also the polarization. So uh, we uh, describe this polarization in terms of the of the Stoke parameters, which can also be transferred to the Pauli matrices, and the Pauli matrices gives the uh, how to say, it, there, there is some correspondence between the polarization of light and the spin of, uh, of, of electrons. So instead of block sphere for electrons, we are using one carry sphere. Uh, maybe the me meaning of uh, uh, spin up, spin down, sigma plus sigma minus uh, can, be, can be plotted differently. But nevertheless, this, uh, this is very uh, useful uh, mathematical uh, representation of the polarization of light uh, and the both direction of light so the momentum of light and uh, and the uh, polarization of light with the spin of light uh, leads to the many effects of, of so-called spin orbit interaction of of, of light uh, <clears throat> then uh, we can try to describe the spin orbit interaction in terms of the 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 well, first of all, we can solve the Maxwell equations. Yes, so this is what we did in uh, in our science paper. But uh, uh, then the, you can uh, represent this Maxwell equation in the form of Hamiltonians, and uh, actually very basic uh, uh, interpretation with uh, with symmetry groups with symmetry operators in in our cavity allow us to predict what kind of uh, um, Spin orbit interaction are symmetry invariant. So regarding the the the, 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 the our cavity, it's mostly C2H uh, symmetry for most of the of the situations. 
uh, and then uh, you uh, one can apply the uh, symmetric transformation to to vertical and horizontal mode of different parities and the propagation of light in the kx and y uh, direction uh, so in plane momentum and then one can uh, for instance to decide how what is the uh, uh, irreducible representation for instance for uh, for this mode uh, in case of uh, for instance in inversion so inversion doesn't change this mode but uh, the, the, the the mode uh, of this kind is does change etc uh, of course in the situation uh, when is the most in interesting for us uh, we are dealing with two modes, horizontal and vertical, so the, we, we, we can exactly the same procedure apply for the pair of modes uh, together with uh, Pauli matrices and together with, uh, with, uh, with uh, the, all the symmetry operators. And then we can uh, deduce and uh, uh, what are the symmetry invariants allowed uh, in our system. And this discussion you can find in our Optica paper, uh, which comes this year, and Vito Babyszewski uh, proposed this uh, elegant uh, way of, uh, of, of presenting the spin orbit interaction in, in, in our system when we restrict our um, the, the, the solution to two uh, modes which are close to each other, like the KP approximation solid state. Um, and uh, so, so we can, uh, together with uh, time reversal symmetry, which is uh, changes the k to minus k, and uh, time time is just the complex conjugate. Um, you can uh, predict all possible symmetry invariants regarding the product of uh, Pauli matrices, that means uh, the, the, the 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 spin, the polarization of light, and the moment. Uh, by uh, applying the Maxwell equation, uh, we can uh, calculate those parameters, which previously I just marked by uh, alpha one, alpha two, alpha three, etc. Uh, so we can write this uh, in uh, in a way that uh, it resembles the Hamiltonian for uh, solid state physics, uh, and the parameters they are just the parameters of the of the cavity, so we have extraordinary and ordinary refractive indices and, uh, and the, the, the angle of the rotation of molecules. Uh, and you can calculate it or just for any, any uh, regimes uh, uh, regarding the, 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 the parity of the system. Uh, it's uh, interesting that uh, we, can, uh, dealing, we can deal also with uh, so-called synthetic magnetic fields or artificial gauges. Uh, I will refer especially for the for the case of this uh, Ralph Badresser has uh, uh, term that uh, uh, we can interpret some of the of the results in case uh, in, in terms of this artificial magnetic field. Um, okay, so um, maybe I would, yes. Let, let let's let me let me start with this Ralph Badresser has spin orbit capping and uh, how we can uh, uh, what what we observe in exp experiment and how we. Uh, describe the system. So this is the <clears throat> again the experimental results uh, of the reflectivity spectra uh, in uh, circular polarization basis. Uh, and then uh, you you observe that when we approach horizontal and uh, mode to the vertical one, uh, one can see that uh, first of all the, there is a, the, the the two parabolas the, the, the they became uh, shifted in uh, k uh, energy. In, in, K mo in the momentum uh, space, and uh, also they became uh, circularly polarized. Uh, and uh, this uh, kind of uh, interaction in terms of spin orbit, this, uh, this is exactly the interaction you, you, you find in uh, uh, solid state physics, and this is uh, called Radba Dressel House spin orbit interaction. So there are two terms. Rajba and Dressel house, uh, and uh, if they are of equal strength, we can uh, we can have exactly the solution which we observe in our in our system. Uh, so we we expect and we observe the circular polarization splitting, uh, and uh, if uh, one plot the the the, the whole uh, dispersion 
uh, in uh, in momentum reciprocal space one one can measure and this is the, the, the these are the result of uh, the tomography this is the result of measurement one can measure the the the, 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 the parabola the paraboloid uh, in uh, in polarization uh, the polarizing uh, circular uh, polarization <clears throat> and of course the cross section of this uh, of this parabola it gives the uh, either two points or, or or two circles which are which which intersects uh, or they, they touch to each other, touch each other etc so the, for this particular um, situation when we have no additional splitting between the the the, the horizontal and vertical uh, modes and they are just in the in the resonance uh, one can then uh, now ask the question uh, but why it's why circular polarization? Yes, we have uh, horizontal vertical basis, and uh, what is the region, uh, the physical origin of the of this uh, circular polarization? So this is the uh, mathematical. Oh, I don't know if you can see it very smoothly, or, uh, uh, but this is the the, the 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 simulation of two modes. One is uh, horizontal with uh, n equal two, so there are two. Um, uh, Anti nodes and one is was has uh, three, so there were three anti nodes, and uh, depending on the phase between them, but one can observe that the the sum of them, the vector sum of them, um, is uh, rotating uh, on the one side and on the other side uh, in uh, circularly, and uh, uh, they rotating actually the the same direction. So, if, uh, but okay, it's a uh, the direction of, from the point of view of the of the of the of the cavity, they circulate the opposite direction. But the, from the point of view of light, which is exit, uh, which coming out from the from the cavity, they have the same circular polarization. So uh, uh, both they are sigma minus or both they are sigma plus. So this uh, uh, in, in in this system, actually, if we just uh, Consider the, the 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 finite k vector not equal zero, but some some finite uh, k k vector. We can ev even uh, uh, expect the transverse angular momentum uh, on the surface of the of, of the cavity. Uh, okay, so the, now uh, uh, the, the 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 last paper which uh, I would like to uh, discuss discuss. Uh, that's maybe not in our last paper. The, the, the paper I'd like to discuss, it, it was published on, in, in November. Uh, so in that sense, this is our uh, last paper. Uh, indeed, this is the research uh, going on this Ralph Badrestelhau regime. So again, the, here, this is the plot of those um, parabolas. We have uh, uh, in Y direction, we have those two um, parabolas splitted by this um, uh, reciprocal momentum. Uh, uh, vector uh, and uh, as you observed we have this circular polarization splitting uh, inversion symmetry it is present in our system uh, and we have no magnetic i i i i, I should mention this uh, this is uh, although this uh, situation is similar to Rathbad Resselhaus uh, uh, term in solid state physics in uh, solid state physics, uh, uh, it is present only in the system when you have no inversion symmetry. Uh, our cavity has inversion symmetry and the origin that we observe it, this, uh, this sigma plus sigma minus polarization splitting even without magnetic field is that we, the, the, the tra symmetry transformation between the spin, electron spin and the polarization of our light are different. So for instance, we can consider the reflection uh, of uh, spin a reflection of the of the polarization uh, so but uh, this was one of the uh, the, 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 the remark um, again we are dealing with the with the the, the cavity when we can observe now monochromatic light travel, uh, traversing the the cavity and uh, at, at the regime which typically i will uh, um, discuss uh, now the the regime when we have the, the, the those two rings of this paraboloid uh, touching. We call also those paraboloids like uh, valleys, yeah, because they are circularly polarized valleys in the sense that we have on two-dimensional uh, dihalcogenides. Uh, we have valleys, um, and we, indeed here we have also 
the, 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 the states which are available for uh, propagation of light in, in form of, uh, of uh, circular polarized uh, valleys. Uh, in, a, in a system when there is a Rajbat Dresselhaus coupling of equal strength, it was shown uh, in a group of, uh, I suppose it was Princeton, Berkeley, and uh, Stanford, uh, that uh, one should uh, expect so called persistent spin headings. What does it mean? It means that uh, if the system, the evolution of the system is governed by the, 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 the spin, uh, Rajbat Dresselhaus uh, spin orbit coupling, then the, uh, you can expect that the precession of spin is somehow symmetry uh, protected. It means that the, the uh, spin, the, 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 the spin configuration depends on you know, the distant travel in one direction and doesn't depend on the distant travel in, in the, the, the other um, uh, direction. And uh, for electrons, uh, one should uh, Ex except, uh, expect the uh, stripes of uh, polarization in the form of the so-called spin helix, uh, depending on the on the exact Rasba Dessethaus uh, term. It can be the spin helix which uh, goes on the surface uh, in, uh, let's say, traverse or perpendicular to the to, to the surface of the sample. But uh, but this kind of uh, of um, Spin uh, uh, coherence in the sample should be should be um, ex expected, and also this um, this uh, this was important in uh, at the beginning of of, of the century. The, the, this paper of of uh, Bernard it was of the 2006 when the spintronics uh, were looking for the the, the, the spin transistor and the, the people believe that with this persistent spin helix uh, one can protect the uh, spin coherence uh, in in the in the in the system and it, there, there were some um, uh, um, measurements that uh, the, 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 the spin coherence times it was increased by the order of or, or orders of, of magnitude. So the, the, if people observe this spin persistent spin helix for instance in care rotation experiments, so they excite the sample and they can they 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 they, they, they sense they detect the, the spin polarization in the samples and so they observe how the spin diffused and the spin the, the, this diffusion was in the form of of stripes. Uh, they can use magnetic field to, to uh, etc. And also, we would like to, uh, to, to, to observe the same uh, uh, phenomena in our system. But then we realized that uh, uh, this uh, experiment, which we are going to perform, uh, just resembles the well known uh, experiment of, the, uh, of Young, which was done uh, almost 200 years ago. Uh, so, the, if we now, uh, uh, just for a moment, uh, uh, think about the, uh, the um, interference pattern, which was observed in the case of uh, spin helix. So the interference patterns occurs, uh, just the iconic image of the interference pattern is double slit experiment. Yes, yeah, so in, in double slit experiment, we have uh, uh, two uh, slits of the distance, uh, at the given distance, and the light and the, the, the plane wave which passes through the, those two slits uh, uh, forms uh, intensity fringes at the at the at the screen, uh, and the, actually the the the, um, the 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 slits they the, this experiment transforms the uh, real space so the the distance between the slits into momentum space. Uh, because those interference fringes they appear at any distance of the of, of the screen, almost any distance. Of course, it's too, too close; then it doesn't be cannot be seen. But uh, <clears throat> this is the, 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 the like a transformation between the real space and, and the reciprocal space. Um, and everybody knows that uh, if uh, one uh, um, want to describe the, the, the this interference pattern. Uh, then one has to take into account the both slits, 
uh, it cannot be explained just by the light passing through the on the, one of them or, or some of of those two slits. They, 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 they must be uh, the, 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 the both slits can have to be taken into account. And the, typically, the polarization is not an issue. So it means that everybody knows that the polarization should be the same in order to have the same uh, uh, the, the, the polarization between the two slits. Yes. They must be the same in order to have the, the, the maximal contrast of the of the uh, of the uh, interference fringes. Um, I know that the changing the polarization in the in between two slits is not very um, easy task, but uh, the the young experiment or the beam spitters or Max Zender experiment and Michelson experiment they can be described in very similar way. And uh, in, in interferometers, that using polarizing beam splitters or non polarizing beam splitters give the similar results. Uh, so, this uh, problem is uh, well known, and this is just a textbook problem. And one can do, consider the, 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 the way the, 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 the light uh, the, make the interference, but also one can uh, uh, ask the question what happens uh, with those interference fringes? If we use uh, polarization, uh, polarized light, yes. Yeah, so, for instance, we have this. Uh, uh, let's imagine that we put two polar tiny polarizers, horizontal and vertical, into those slits, and we would like to uh, observe the the, the the interference. And uh, of course, um, one can say that uh, there is no interference at all, yes, because the the, the light passes and this cannot interfere destructively or constructively. Uh, but this is. Uh, actually not uh, the, the, the whole story because uh, nevertheless we can add and uh, the, the the light and the, uh, and the phases of the of the light if there is a common coherence between the, the, those phases so there is still a, the plane wave passing through the slits and uh, then for instance for horizontal and vertical light one can observe uh, that uh, in a polarization uh, space uh, there is the, 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 there is a pattern of uh, interference. So, adding another uh, polar, polarizer in the front of the screen uh, shows up the the interference pattern again, and uh, it chooses the the, the, the proper polarization. Uh, is this the same for the, uh, the, the the example of here? Is just for I don't remember from this textbook, zero and 90 degree polarization, the same one can be used for 45 and 135 degree of polarization. But uh, interesting thing happened also when we have the circular polarization of both slits. And then we observe the, the pattern, which actually is called uh, persistence mechanics, because this is what we should ex ex expect from this, from this system. So uh, in our case, uh, we also, can understand our experiment uh, as a kind of uh, Tom, Thomas Young experiment, double slit experiment, but now in reciprocal space. So we, using monochromatic light, we pass the light through two slits, but in reciprocal space. Yes, this, 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 these are the uh, minima of the bands which uh, are uh, allowed for light to propagate through the, through the cavity. And uh, so we, we should observe also the, the, the polarization pattern, but not, not in intensity uh, because they have two orthogonal polarization, but in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, in linear polarization as it was uh, previously um, suggested uh, or shown or is already known. Uh, so um, we would like to describe again our system in this uh, in, in this term, but uh, uh, so it re somehow resembles the quantum mechanical description. Uh, but of course, uh, somebody can claim that uh, the, those operators or those states are not uh, well defined. Uh, but we have uh, Maxwell equations, and we have the, the 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 we know how to propagate the light. Uh, we can pass the Gaussian uh, beam uh, of the linear polarization through the, the sample. Uh, we've, uh, we, we need to excite actually the, 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 the valleys uh, or in, uh, in momentum space. So we need to, to excite not only at k equals zero, but also for at other uh, momenta. So it requires the high numerical aperture. 
and uh, uh, and excitement for in the form of the of the con, so the, the divergent beam, uh, and then uh, one can um, calculate the, the the beam which goes out the the, the cavity, and indeed in, in, in it for it, it is in this form which resembles it's similar to what we uh, can expect from quantum mechanics. So we have a, a polarization of light. Uh, and the 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 the, the, the mm, let's say spatial term, and this spatial term is uh, is just calculated uh, like an uh, uh, mm, zero order Bessel function, uh, and this zero Bessel function, the argument for the zero Bessel order Bessel function is very very small. So we are dealing with this uh, Bessel function of the order of, of one. Um, and we have the two sources of the of the uh, of the beam. One is uh, related to the one valley and uh, in the sigma plus polarization, and the second is the, 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 the other valley. Uh, and also the the relative phase uh, is uh, governed by the linear, pol pol linear pol polarization and the, the incident beam. So. Uh, with this, we can calculate the all stock parameters as a real imaginary part and the, uh, the rest uh, as free param parameter. Uh, and uh, then we can compare with, uh, with experiment. And indeed, we observe this uh, kind of stripe. So we, we perform just the transmission measurement uh, through the sample. Uh, in, and uh, uh, we observe the, the, the polarization stripe both in, in Horizontal, vertical, or diagonal, anti-diagonal uh, polarization uh, on the detection. This is the confirmation from the from the uh, model I, I present here, and the, another uh, confirmation is uh, by provided by uh, Helgi, uh, and he calculated the propagation uh, within the the, the 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 Hamiltonian, which uh, uh, with uh, this plan, pl planar propagation of, of light in the uh, Rajba Dressel Fat regime. Uh, if we tune or we change the linear polarization, so we, we, we change the relative phase between sigma plus and sigma minus uh, uh, phases, we, we, we observe that the fringes indeed they, they shift uh, uh, and the, 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 they shift in such a way that this resembles sine and cosine between them. This uh, system also might be interested uh, uh, from the point of view of uh, other works. This is the uh, just liquid crystal uh, uh, system when they, they, they use artificial uh, spin of uh, uh, persistent. Uh, okay, they, they do not call it persistent spin carry. They just use it this, this kind of, uh, of, of polariz polarizing plates in order to. Uh, to investigate random walk of electrons in, in the system. So this, uh, this system uh, is very similar to what we can observe in our, in our, in our system, but just by tuning the, 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 the voltage and the, uh, and the orientation of the molecules. Uh, okay, so, but this is not the, the end of the story. <clears throat> As you have seen here, for linear polarization, we let's say excite those two valleys equally. Yes? So we have equal occupation of sigma plus or sigma minus um, waves or photons in our cavity. Um, so we, in general, we can introduce the parameters, uh, we call it beta plus and beta minus, uh, just to, 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 to mark that this one is <coughs> related to, to this right and left handed circular polarization. <clears throat> so this is just a replacement. Yes, the, for incident the linear polarization, they are, they are equal and there is a, a certain orientation, the phase between them. Uh, but how we can uh, uh, now uh, 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 discuss what happens if they are not equal. So we excite one of the, of the, of the valley uh, with, uh, Greater amount of the of the of, of the photons, 
uh, or the light is propagating mostly in sigma plus or sigma minus. So this situation just uh, is very similar to the situation that we are using only one slit in our system uh, in, in Thomas Young experiment. Yes? If we are, or use only one slit, then one can expect that uh, we have no interference fringes uh, uh, and uh, we should observe on the, on the, the intensity uh, related to one of the of the slit. Uh, and uh, in our system, uh, we have this, uh, the same uh, uh, situation. So this <coughs> K should be uh, equal zero because they, we go straight forward to the, to the screen. Uh, if we um, just uh, normalize the incident uh, beam, uh, so the coefficient of beta one and beta two, beta plus and beta minus are equal to zero. Then we can introduce another parameter, uh, and uh, it's Helgi's uh, proposed to introduce this parameter in the form which is known from the the, the discussion uh, about the quantum and cl classical uh, entanglements. Uh, although I'm not going to use uh, this the the the, 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 the this cl classical entanglement. Uh, uh, in, uh, in this presentation, because I know that there is a, a dispute in, uh, in, in our society, what does it mean the classical interpretation, if it is oxymoron or not, or what is the, uh, the really in, uh, real depend nature of the entanglement that is non-locality and not, in, in, not inseparability, etc. But this, uh, uh, nevertheless, even about this discussion, uh, the discussion, we can we can introduce the the, the parameter, which is very uh, very useful for the for, for the investigation, which is uh, also can find it in uh, in uh, in uh, recent uh, uh, review paper of uh, Korolkova and uh, um, and the, with this uh, parameter C defined as uh, as that. Uh, again, we can calculate the uh, stock um, uh, vector, and uh, then it uh, occurs that uh, the square of the S3 parameters and uh, this new parameter C, uh, C square is equal to one. Uh, it's uh, yes, if you if, if you put this to this to the square and this to the square and add together with the minus. Uh, Two beta plus beta minus changes into plus beta plus beta minus, and it, and those term cancels. Uh, so in that sense, the the S three parameter uh, it is the the way of measurement of the uh, separability or non separability. What what what's the meaning of this parameter C? Actually, this uh, par the, this parameter C is defined in such a way that if the the system is uh, Non-separable, uh, so the, we we have uh, like linear polarization of both uh, valleys are excited uh, equally. Uh, then the, we expect that uh, there should be no S3 uh, stock parameters, so there no degree of circular polarization, uh, and then we expect uh, the presence of the the, the interference fringes. Uh, while in uh, uh, in uh, uh, in the system when we uh, have no coherence between two valleys, yes? So there is no common phase between them and then we have the source of sigma plus and sigma minus uh, polarization, then uh, the, 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 the degree of circular polarization is maximum. Uh, uh, and we should not observe the, 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 the interference patterns. And we performed this uh, similar experiment with the halogen, halogen lamp uh, in the space tomography, and uh, uh, we observe the the the, the S three parameter. This is that's actually, actually this is not S three parameter. This is a three parameters. Uh, we observe the uh, indeed the 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 that this is non-zero except the, the central part where the, there is still there is a light. Uh, but uh, the S3 parameter is equal to zero, and in the light coming from this is uh, non separable in terms of the degree of freedom of the position and the, and the polarization. Uh, 
This uh, uh, splitting between sigma plus and sigma minus uh, also resembles another experiment uh, in quantum mechanics. It's called stern gerlach experiment. Uh, when uh, Stern and Gerlach passes uh, uh, silver atoms and they discover the splitting of spin up and spin down, spin, uh, spins and, uh, and similarly, uh, we can, uh, we have a model of the Stern Gerlach experiment here. Okay, then this uh, paper was uh, <clears throat> chosen by physical regulators by, uh, like, uh, as an editor suggestion, and it was published the uh, 1st of the no November. The first uh, author of this paper was the Mateusz Prul, and also is the uh, author of all those beautiful uh, uh, graphics. And Mateusz is finishing his PhD in, uh, next year, so if you have uh, interesting, uh, Propositions for Mateusz, do not hesitate to contact him. Um, now I have a few minutes to, to introduce the lasing. The lasing was done by uh, Marcin Uszynski, uh, another PhD student. Uh, we uh, managed to dissolve uh, uh, the pyrometan, the, the, the P580 uh, laser dye in, in, inside the liquid crystal uh, in, 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 the, in this microcavity. It was done by uh, also by Military University of, the, of Technology. Uh, we uh, <clears throat> excite the, uh, the, the, the cavity with a, a Q-switch uh, nanosecond uh, laser, uh, green laser, uh, and depending on the, uh, on the intensity of the power of the, uh, of the, of the excitation, we observe although uh, either the luminescence from the, the, the cavity mode, but then at certain threshold, uh, the, uh, the, the, the horizontal mode uh, has the increase of the, of, the, of the intensity and the lasing occurs at the bottom of this parabola. Uh, and uh, we observe the, uh, 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 that the line with, uh, uh, are, are over the threshold is uh, uh, decreases and the, 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 at the energy actually this uh, also changes, but it's not a blue shifted, uh, it's red shifted and uh, there are many, there, there might be many reasons that uh, we observe such kind of energy shift in our, our system. But what is important that the, this uh, Lasing occurs in horizontal mode. When the horizontal mode, uh, we can tune easily with our with our uh, voltage. So here, there's uh, there this was the emission and the comparison in logarithmic scale between the reflectivity. Maybe I can play it again. Uh, uh, and the reflectivity and the, and the emission in logarithmic scale, and you observe that indeed the uh, the the uh, uh, lasing uh, occurs in the horizontal mode and it follows the, the uh, rotation of the molecules. Uh, <clears throat> we had the tunability range of about 40 nanometers uh, and it, this experiment can be repeated uh, many times, uh, many series, but it is pulse experiment, yes. Uh, but interesting uh, thing occurs when we uh, tune our system to Radboud Dresselhaus mode and then we observe this uh, uh, sigma plus sigma minus uh, uh, lasing. Yes, they, we, because they, now we have a laser action which uh, takes place uh, uh, from the, this bottom of uh, two orthogonal polarized uh, valleys. And it is observed in, uh, in uh, energy momentum um, coordinates are also in, uh, in, uh, in reciprocal space at the two uh, spots. But also we can observe it in real space. Uh, and so we expect that uh, from this, uh, those two spots, so we should observe uh, the persistent spin helix uh, in our system. And now the, uh, the uh, um, argument for this function uh, at the bottom of the parabola, uh, this energy is equal minus this uh, term. So this is uh, just equal zero. So uh, stock parameters are very, very simple in this case. And this is what we observe. We observe the, uh, indeed the, 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 the stripes 
Yes, the, in a horizontal, vertical, diagonal, anti-diagonal, this uh, the histogram of the stripes, you see that when one, one stripe has maximum, the other has a minimum, but they are shifted in phase as we expected. Um, we observe also that the, 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 the beam is, uh, is diverged, but nevertheless, the, so we have the sigma plus and sigma minus uh, Finally, on the one side, we have the emission from super polarization right-handed and from, from another left-handed. So, so there must be some, uh, some uh, um, S3 stock parameters, non-zero stock proper parameters. But I, I would like to show that the, 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 the spot, the, the, the excited, excitation spot was relatively small, like five microns. And the, the rest of the polarization of the system was uh, somehow protected by the Hamiltonian and the equation of motion. So we managed to, to do that. Uh, okay, I have to, to 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 finish. So maybe I will mention only the plans for the for, 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 for the future. We are limited in our research to room temperature because the, on the room temperature we can have the rotation of, of molecules, but there are a lot of uh, uh, system which can uh, be integrated, uh, potentially can be integrated in uh, and giving to let's say the the hope for a strong coupling. With organics and the, the strong coupling was already was already presented, so we hope that we can also uh, in, uh, take part in this uh, in this research. Uh, uh, there was a beautiful uh, seminar of uh, Ting Gao, and they show already the the very similar system of liquid crystals and uh, and uh, perovskites. Uh, so the, 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 there is an, uh, the, the, the way to put uh, another emitter also to this uh, to the system. Uh, we experiment with, uh, for instance, the transition method uh, which were uh, uh, which were uh, also uh, embedded inside the in, inside the cavity. Uh, and we had some tunability, unfortunately, without the strong coupling. Uh, there is a, another research, very interesting research, uh, ongoing research on, on um, uh, birefringence in general and topological uh, uh, or biophases in, in, in birefringent materials. So we would like also to take part of it. Uh, uh, there is uh, another group which shows uh, the um, polariton lasing and helical polariton lasing from the from the valleys. This is very recent uh, archive I found in the, uh, <laughs> actually last last uh, this evening. Uh, but also they 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 they, they, they show the, the very uh, similar optical activity induced uh, uh, lasing. So this is the 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 the, the uh, our uh, results, the the conclusions. So we were able to fill the uh, liquid the, the cavity with liquid with cluster, and now we uh, try to uh, use this system for to do some interesting. Uh, I hope interesting physics. Uh, we would like to use this spin orbit interaction, synthetic um, magnetic field, et cetera, to, uh, to develop new, new devices, uh, to enter the field of topology. Uh, I showed you the, 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 the already the device like, uh, like, uh, like the tunable laser. Um, let me acknowledge the, again the, uh, the, the, the whole group who work on this, uh, on this field. Uh, I would like also to acknowledge the, the Horizon 2020 uh, FET open action, which we started in September uh, among um, IBM, uh, CNRS, Southampton, and the Military University of Technology. And uh, thank you for your attention. That's all. Thank you. Thank you, Jacek. <laughs> yeah, that, that was much better. <laughs> I wonder what you see through that. So, uh, okay, thank you for this very nice presentation. Uh, so let's start with questions. I am aware that you have to go for a lecture very soon. So I will try to keep it 
sort and manage the questions. So if you have a question, please raise your hand. Let me see. Okay, so uh, Tamsin. Tamsin Cookson from school. Hello. Uh, thank you uh, for the nice talk. I was uh, wondering about this uh, inseparable and separable uh, states that you showed. Um, you showed them coupled and then you showed being able to turn one completely off by tuning the excitation laser. Can you do that in steps and have uh, one of them at uh, full and one of them at 50% or is it the same uh, intensity and or, or just one off kind of thing? Sorry, um, I don't know if I phrased that well. I, uh, you, uh, as I understood your question, you are asking if I can uh, uh, change between the, this occupation of uh, this uh, sigma plus is in my mind. This was your question? Yes. How to, how to change? Yes, of, uh, uh, of course, there's a, I, sorry, I'm looking for better, uh, for better uh, uh, equation. It's over, over there. So just by 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 choosing the uh, the if, uh, let's say the amount of the polarization of uh, sigma plus and sigma minus in incident light, uh, so the incident polarization, uh, one can choose between sigma plus sigma minus on linear polarization and or elliptical. Yes, yeah? so we have the, the the whole blocks here, and by this you can. Uh, you can tune uh, um, not only the visibility of the polarization fringes, but also the amount of, uh, of uh, non separability and non-separability of the states in, 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 a, in a sense of uh, S3 parameters, which, uh, which is typically in, in that case, we can interpret S3 as the separable state. Separable because uh, you, uh, let's, um, if we, if you have the the, the, the fringes and the, the, the fringes are only occurs at the surface of the of the of, of, of the of the cavity, I didn't mention it. I forgot this. the the normal uh, uh, Young experiment uh, transfers uh, transfer the, the 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 distance the real space into the direction into reciprocal space. In our case. We have uh, this two slits in reciprocal space, and uh, uh, this transfers into the uh, the spin pattern. But this is uh, only it exists on the surface of the sample. But because anyway, far from the in the far field, we observe that the sigma plus polarization is uh, emitted from the from the sample and this this momentum mom and the sigma minus an opposite momentum. So for, for the far field. This, both states are separable, yes, because now the the position and the and the polarization is completely separable. By uh, knowing the position, I know the polarization. Why on the surface of the sample, when I have this uh, the, 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 the the those two states, and they have linear polarization, I in order to have this uh, uh, this uh, interference pattern. I have to use both, yes. So though in that sense, those two two, two states are necessary uh, to to have the, uh, the, the, the 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 interference pattern. And so in that sense, they are uh, inseparable. Uh, but uh, by just uh, changing the polarization of incident light, I can. Uh, excite differently those two valleys and have the the, the the different uh, different different pattern because I shift the with linear polarization and shift the position of the uh, of the of, of the maximum let's say of the fringes and also the the amount of the uh, of the sigma plus or sigma minus light emitted through the sample. I Thank hope and I, I answer your question. Uh, yeah, I think that I was asking if it was a completely tunable and you had complete control over this uh, interaction or and the degree of separability. So I think it... the only thing I, I couldn't do is, for instance, uh, I couldn't excite both valley sigma plus or both valley sigma minus. Yes, or inverse the sigma yes. plus with sigma minus. This is uh, so. So in terms of uh, Bell. Uh, 
uh, states, I do not have access to all the those states. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Tamsin. Uh, Anton Cesedadilev from Vienna. Oh, thanks. Thanks for a very interesting talk. I have a very quick question. You mentioned in, uh, on slide number 39, I guess, that for uh, you know, so say systems uh, by, you know, by rotating the spin, you can somehow uh, protect uh, the coherence of the spin system, right? I was wondering what the mechanism behind. Could you elaborate this? A bit? Uh, 30, 39 or 49? Oh, I think, no, 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 it was a bit earlier. Uh, uh, okay. um, no, the, 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 this is not the. the no, basically, the question: How, how by the rotating the spin in the system, you can you can make the coherence more stable in the system? What's the mechanism? Oh, oh, the, you, I, 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 I suppose I, I mentioned it uh, over there. So yeah, I'm over there. I, 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 I said at the end that that, that the, the the spot was very very, very tiny. But nevertheless, when the light is propagating inside the sample, because this is the this is the cavity, there are multiple reflection, and of course S1, S3, and S2 for stock parameters, they are um, normalized. So even if in normal uh, in normal uh, let's say space, you you just see one big spot. Uh, there are some light diffuse uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, normalize it you you, you increase the, this light and and this this is the the same kind of protection that's like it was introduced by berevik uh, for um, spins in solid state physics so the uh, evolution of spin or, or mm -hmm. the precession of spin now is governed by spin orbit interaction by is governed by Dirac by Dresselhaus in orbit interaction. So they have no choice. They have to, if they want to propagate inside the, the quantum well for, 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 for electrons or, or micro cavity in, in spin, they have to form this uh, uh, stripes. And uh, for, and this, is, this, this stripes pattern is uh, robust or, or, or quite robust. Okay. I mean, I guess my question was more about the helix patterns. The, the helix, oh, the helix, uh, the helix yeah, yeah. You, uh, you mentioned there that uh, the helix states somehow uh, they preserve the coherence in the system. No, I don't remember. I, 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 I said that uh, this is the proof of the, 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 the coherence of the system because we have two laser beams, yes? Mm -hmm. And uh, they have the same uh, oscillator, yes? They, so they have the same, uh, the same phase at the, at the origin. And the, the molecules, okay. they have the same origin. So be, because without, uh, with, if they are, they, they are very independent lasers, yes, we won't observe the the the, the 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 persistence spin helix or the the, the the polarization coherence yes so we would other rather uh, observe on the sigma plus sigma minus uh, uh, so, sorry uh, this kind of pattern and this kind of pattern comes for us just for the let's say an incoherent light and this is for, for coherent phase coherent light Okay, maybe we can discuss. Coherent is not a good good word here, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, tough but, question. But I guess we can we can we can discuss it probably later, and uh, probably anybody else has a question. Okay. I'm sorry if I didn't answer your question. That's fine. I think uh, Jacek, you meant that it is uh, there is a, a relation between. Uh, the, the different polarizations. It is not that necessarily the light is uh, coherent. Yeah. Maybe yes. Yeah. Uh, but uh, on the same topic, uh, you know, if we if we start from the nomenclature, persistent spin helix, how do you think one could check if uh, could test how persistent it is? This means that it is persistent against some external perturbations or some noise in the system, and so far. We are observing it, mm -hmm. but nothing has been done to really test how persistent it is against some external 
uh, influence, let's say, either dynamic or of any other type. So this, this is a good, good, uh, good uh, plan for 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 future research. It is. Uh, uh, okay, in solid state physics, people put this uh, persistent field case, for instance, in magnetic fields. Yes, so they, they, they change magnetic field and they observe how the diffusion of, of electron changes in uh, due to the presence of Lorentz force. Uh, and uh, I believe that this, um, as far as we can consider the, the, the propagation of electrons or propagation of uh, photons as ballistic without scattering, Probably this uh, evolution is indeed governed by the the, the Ralva Dusselhaus uh, spin orbit cutting, but then in case of scattering, we yes we can we can see it sh should be somehow protected because this was the hope for spin transistors. Yes, it, it, so within this persistent spin helix, you have a, a long uh, distance precession of spin, uh, but you can uh, somehow control this, uh, this precession. You know what is the, uh, what is the, the, the magnetization of the, of the spins at the origin and uh, the source of the drain. Uh, and maybe the similar situation we can have with polarization, but uh, you know, I, when, I, when I learn now, when I look in the persistent spin helix of, 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 for, the, for the electrons, now I recognize that indeed they, for electrons, they also did exactly the same double slit experiment in reciprocal space. So we, that means that it's somehow this spin of electrons is kind of polarization of electrons, but maybe I'm going too far with the interpretation, but we can use our interpretation also to, to, to understand uh, what is the, the meaning of the persistent spin helix. I know that it comes from the, the equation and I like that something is explained by the theory, yes? But I suppose that if we just introduce that, okay, with this Rasbad Dressel house, there are two valleys, there are the sources of electrons, they interfere and they, you should observe this interference pattern, it's elegant, so I, I like it. I have a follow, follow up from this one coming to the work where you know you recently doped the cavity with a dye molecule, so you introduced optical gain and you show lasing. And then you mentioned also the work in uh, using perovskites inside the liquid crystal microcavity, where lasing was also observed. And a couple of weeks ago, we had a talk from uh, Tingye Gao. Uh, yes, exactly. So. What would be the advantage of having this kind of lasing in the strong coupling regime? So, optical gain introduced, observed with perovskites, maybe, maybe not in the strong coupling. There, were, there was a huge debate last time, but uh, also in the weak coupling regime in the work that you have done. So, what would be the advantage here of bringing the system in the strong coupling regime? Why bother? Mm. Except that uh, we, the, the, the person who who does it will be the first one. Uh, uh, I, you know, in a strong coupling regime, we uh, we believe that we uh, are dealing with Bose-Einstein condensates somehow, and this is uh, this uh, this, this lasing is due to the this uh, macroscopic properties of Bose-Einstein condensates. So having this. Uh, uh, spin orbit interaction and uh, having this artificial magnetic field allows you to, to modify the, 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 the Bose-Einstein condensate. And this is not a trivial task in atomic physics or even in the semi semiconductor structures. So I suppose that it opens the possibilities also for the additional research and uh, Imagine about the persistent spin helix or magnetization or Bose-Einstein condensate in your system. Yes, so you have a spatial modulation of polarization of Bose-Einstein condensate. So this is, a, yes, this that might be another uh, topic for the research if somebody showed the, 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 the this in a, in the future. And there are several systems which we have to test. And I'm, I'm very glad that other groups, they, 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 they join our, our research. Yes, we are not alone. And we, 
we can share our, our experience uh, and and work on uh, on this topic. Thank you. We have last two questions. Uh, one is from Tamsin Cookson, again Skoltek. So Tamsin, uh, please. Yep, I was uh, wondering on the uh, when you're in the I can't pronounce it the Rashba Dressel House regime. Sorry, I can't mm -hmm. pronounce that at all. Um, if you excite with a lattice or two spots instead of a singular Gaussian, uh, what do you expect to see in terms of interference within these two K rings? This is also a very good question. Uh, yes, how to how to uh, get uh, uh, um, the, the um, I miss the word. Uh, <laughs> Uh, how to how to use the spin orbit interaction and spin orbit coupling in the case when you have the, uh, the the patterned samples or the samples when you excite as you do in uh, in Skoltek with multiple uh, beams. Um, I suppose that this is the the the, the next uh, idea for the common research. Uh, yes, among uh, Skoltek and, uh, and and our team. So. So what, 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 of course, what you expect, this is the, the, the dispersion relation of the free particle. Yes, so in solid state physics, the Radba Dressel house occurs in the uh, in, uh, um, Brillouin zone. So this is a periodic structure. But here we do not have periodic structure. We have Radba Dressel house splitting, and this is the, the, the free particle. If you add the periodic structure to this, uh, to, 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 to this uh, system, you should expect that you will also have uh, uh, Brillouin zone, two-dimensional Brillouin zone, but spin orbit coupled, spin orbit split. And uh, this is a good uh, research, which I would like to, uh, to also do with this uh, Topolite project uh, about the, 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 the different uh, structures or of or periodic structures on uh, uh, together with artificial and synthetic magnetic fields, synthetic gauges, uh, and uh, uh, spin orbit coupling. Yes. So yes, this is the this opens new possibilities. Oh, short question. Uh, answer. Thank you. It's a very good, very good plan. Thank you, thank you, uh, Jacek and Tamsin for the question. A last question from Anton Zasdadilev. My question for the strong coupling of, with this uh, type of cavities. Uh, how small could be the cavity? Because I guess to observe this beautiful physics, spin physics, you need to have some numbers of antinodes in your, your cavity. How small the cavity should be such that you afford this, this spin stuff? Uh, the and see the strong coupling. Yeah? Okay, uh, to, to, uh, yeah, there, there's a balance uh, between the, the Rajba Dressel House regime when you need uh, to use multi-mode cavity because you, 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 you need the, the, mm -hmm. the, the, the subsequent modes and not far to, too far to each other to, 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 to cross. Uh, but also uh, you should have not too many modes because otherwise you lose this uh, strong coupling. So uh, I cannot give you right now the answer. We are we are trying. Yes, the, the, the typical thickness of our samples is of the order of uh, between uh, two and five microns. But five microns is very thick. Yes. So we, yeah, it's very challenging to get amazing uh, but exactly, stuff. Yes. Just, such a good question, but we don't know yet. Okay. Thanks. You have to have the space for the for molecules to to rotate, yes. And the molecules which are close to the surface of the mirrors, they do not rotate. They so there is also some some molecular layer which does not respond to electric field, and also you have to take into account. Sure. sure. Okay. Thanks. Thanks a lot for the very interesting talk. Nice. Thank you very much. So Jacek, thank you very much. For coming today and uh, really answering all these questions and the very nice presentation and everyone who joined us uh, today for this for this talk there will be uh, an announcement for the next one which will be in a couple of weeks time 
And uh, until then, good to see you all and have a very good day. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you very much. Bye.